Welcome to the homework for lesson five of grade two, module three. Write your name first. What is the value of the seven in 764? The value of this digit is counting seven hundreds, so the value there is seven hundred. Number two, make number bonds to show the hundreds, tens, and ones in each number. Then write the number in unit form. So here's the example. If you don't remember what unit form is, that's unit form. And really, we should make an effort to spell the word hundreds correctly. <clears throat> and it's right there for you to see how to spell it. So this is really a chance to practice it and learn how to spell it right. So the 333. Now be careful. This isn't just a 3, a 3, and a 3. Because that would add up to 9. The hundreds digit is 300. Is worth 300. And the value of the tens digit is 30. And there's the 3. The whole idea of the number bond is that the 3 parts, or however many parts there are, add up to the whole. So if you just had a 3, a 3, and a 3, they would add up to 9, not 333. And now we're going to write it out. Three hundreds. Three tens, three ones. And keep in mind, in unit form, units are just whatever we count. We're always counting something in math. And the units that we're counting, that this whatever it is we're counting, those are the units. So if we're counting hundreds, our units are hundreds. Right? If we were measuring in centimeters, we'd write 3 cm instead of hundreds. And for the tens here, same thing. If we were... Counting kilograms, it would be 3 kg for kilograms instead of tens. And so those those are just the units that we're counting. So that's why we write out the words, because that's what we do when we say how many units. You know, whatever it is we're counting, whatever our story is about. Right now we're just looking at numbers, so our units that we're counting are hundreds, tens, and ones. 330... It's going to have 330, and that's it. There's no ones, zero ones. And this last one, 303. Right, and if you're still having trouble with it, these numbers are still can be pretty large at this point in your second grade career. So if you're having trouble figuring out what these are, make a little HTO chart and put the number right in it. And then you can just look at it and see what you're supposed to have. Three hundreds, three ones, zero tens. Three hundreds is three hundred. Three ones is just three, and zero tens is nothing. So we have 300, 300s, three ones. Now you don't have to do this for every single number, but if it helps you, do it. Right, you've got the room to, to use that. And it's very helpful, especially in the beginning when you're getting used to working with larger numbers. Draw a line to match unit form with number form. Number form is just a regular number like this. So these are number form numbers right here. They just look like regular numbers. And here are the unit forms. Right? With the, the, the digits with the units that the, they count. Now this is a big mix and match. So I'm going to have to zoom way out for this one. So you can match it up. And it's going to be really hard to read, especially if you're looking at this on a phone. <clears throat> but that's what I have to do to show it all. 
So we have 100 and 1, 1. If you're not sure what these are, you can just make a little HTO chart right here. It's a great little strategy. HTO. We have a 100 and a 1. Because sometimes they put these things, and there's no 10s, 0. So cause sometimes they put these things out of order. It doesn't always, they don't always have to tell you the hundreds first and then the tens and then the ones. They could start with the ones and put the tens at the end and the hundreds in the middle and it would still be the same number. So put it in an HTO chart and you'll know exactly what you're looking at. There's a hundred, there's a one, one zero one. It's that one there. One ten, one one. Hopefully this number is manageable. We just need tens and ones for this one. 110, 1, 1. It's 11. Seven tens and 1, 1. Well, if you're going to make a little HTO chart for this one, you need tens and ones. You don't need any hundreds because there aren't any. Seven tens and a 1, 71. That's what we're looking for. Seven hundreds and a 1. There's no tens in here, so it's seven. HTO. You don't have to do these, but it, it's going to help you, especially in the beginning. Seven hundreds, so there's seven in the hundreds. Zero, there's no tens, and there's a one, so it's just seven zero one is what we're looking for. And uh, one hundred, one ten. And seven hundreds with 110 and there's your homework